your storm track weather with meteorologist Christina Reese. Good morning, Northeast Kansas. Thanks for waking up with us here on KSNT News. The time right now is around 6:30, and we have some changes to talk about. This winter weather advisory has been trimmed back significantly, only including Nemaha and Brown County now through 10 o'clock this morning. But it could actually be trimmed ahead of that as well, following the theme across the board of just seeing this taper off because the chance of that wintry mix is falling apart across the region, but still a possibility. And that's why we're seeing a little bit of that pink coloring, especially to the north of I-70 popping up right now because some spots are still cold enough to support that and even some of the road conditions as well temperature wise could still see some slick spots develop where the moisture sets up closer to the surface. Otherwise, it is a fairly cloudy start to your day, but we'll continue to track that chance of patchy drizzle developing. We hold on to this chance of a little bit of a wintry mix in spots. Does not look as promising as it has, though, even though future tracks still picking up on those pink colors. So Still be mindful, we are still looking at the chance of slick spots, but even the road temperatures are now starting to respond to the warmer weather, and that'll lead into this all changing over to just a rain chance by later on this morning after 9, 10 o'clock, just a rain chance at that point. The most meaningful rain chance for significant rain will be along the turnpike into the southeast. Otherwise, we could still see some patchy areas of drizzle for some of our northern and western areas. This rain chance holds on to our southeastern areas, even through your lunchtime plans at 1230s where we're stopping here. For the second half of the day, though, this gradually starts to push out. But still, places like Burlington and Poria, Osage City, I don't think you'll expect all too much sunshine through today. It will be a struggle across the board to see that sunshine even pop out before sunset later on today. Otherwise, tonight, most of that stubborn cloud cover looks to finally push out. Now, the reason why that winter weather chance is really tapered off is because of these temperatures. They ran away from that freezing mark along I-70, especially into the south. We are talking upper 30s and low 40s. It is 41 degrees outside of the capital city right now, 42 for Junction City and Manhattan, and starting to see those temperatures rebound a little bit more so for our northern areas, even though they're still on the colder side in the 30s. They didn't warm up quite as much because of the southerly air that has been pushing in in terms of the wind. A decent breeze for places like Emporia and Burlington with that south wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour helping usher in that warmer air. But overall temperatures for today will be stuck between the 30s and 40s. I'm not looking at these upper 40s and even the low 50s that future track is trying to pop up on. The only way I could see this happening is if we get a decent amount of sunshine to pop in for some of our western areas. Otherwise, late tonight into Monday morning, we see these temperatures crash below freezing in the 20s. So any of that rain that does fall, especially for our southeastern areas, since we're not expecting much sunshine in places like Emporia and Osage City, it's not going to be able to evaporate so too, too well. So this could refreeze for on road conditions for tomorrow morning heading back to work on the turnpike. Just be mindful of the possibility of some slick spots. Monday, though, looks like to be the better chance of upper 40s to near 50 degrees across the board. Again, for tonight, we dip below freezing. That could allow some six slick spots to develop, especially over our southeastern areas that have the best shot of seeing some of that rain. A look at your KSNT Storm Track 7 day forecast shows that gradual warm up begins today as we're already in the low 40s. But because of that stubborn cloud cover, I don't think temperatures will be able to warm up all too much more, especially for places that are already in the upper 30s and low 40s from where they are right now. Otherwise, we're talking right around 50 degrees for both Monday and Tuesday, mid 50s for Wednesday, and then it all comes crashing down as our next storm system looks to push in, not only slashing temperatures, but could possibly give us our next snow chance on Thursday.